Welcome to the third episode of the Arid Solo Survival series. In today's video, we will continue with our first big base raid. If you haven't watched the previous two episodes, we basically went from naked to Fort Knell, did our first distress beacon, looted airdrops, PvP against groups, and had a nice base. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I will upload episode 4 tomorrow. Also subscribe if you haven't already, I would like to thank you all for 27,000 subscribers and as a thank you we are going to be doing a marathon stream this weekend. For more information please join my discord, the link is in the description below. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize contact me via discord. Today we're going to roll another one which is an electric bowler hat. To have a chance to win this mythical make sure that you have subscribed, liked and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win and if anyone wishes to become a member the link is in the description below. If you guys are looking to play on high quality servers make sure to check out my network over there we have various unturned servers such as pve pvp and vanilla plus on all maps including arid which we also have a first person server only there if you guys are interested the discord link and ips will all be in the description below and let's get straight into the video all right so currently in my euro i'm trying to look around for base raids perhaps a bit further away from my base this time having this euro is actually 10 times easier to drive around man now I do have some raiding gear in my base obviously, so now we only have the AMR. Now so now I did see some small raided bases, I also did find a couple of small unraided like 2x2s, all wood. But for now I want to do something big. Last two raids that we did, one of them was a mess, the other one was not that bad. Yeah, we're very close to Kahmaran airfield, which is a hotspot for to find base raids to be honest. Uh, looks like we found another base, let's check out if it is actually raided or not. Oh yeah it's raided, alright never mind. Alright well there's another little base over here. Oh, it's actually not that small. It's a uh, two floor, two by two. Oh, yeah, we could raid this next. All right, so I did bring the AMR with me and all of the ammo. Myself, uh, a couple of the homemade charges. Very small. Oh, yeah, I forgot my saw. Well, never mind. There's an airdrop landing as well. Obviously, I will not go for it. All right, so the AMR is in my vault. I don't want to lose it. Now, perhaps we're going to raid into the second floor because I have a feeling that the loot might actually be up there. But we cannot build up because we don't have a saw. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the roll to actually go up. Yeah, now we should be able to make the jump if we do break the wall. All right, let's use the AMR. All right, seven shots already in. Now let's reload. For myself, 30 more shots. Another magazine out. But actually, hopefully I do have enough. It shouldn't take that much, though. Oh yeah, we're through. Uh, this one... Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was a huge waste. There's absolutely nothing in here. Yeah, this is trash. There's a couple of guns, grenades, and a bed. Oh, this one has a ton of metal parts, actually. I will actually take those. A ton of metal, too. There's a bunch of magazines, but I don't really need them. RPG scope, coyote pack. Right, if these only had loot on them, man, that would have been different. But they're empty. Right, we got a box of metal parts. We can do another stack of HQ fabric. Alright, onwards to the next base. Now, the problem is, in order to raid another base, I'm going to need to farm more. Because that's all the AMR ammo that I had. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I might have found my next base raid. Obviously, I need to go farm. I'm going to go home. We'll leave the Euro here so that we can climb up to the second floor with it. But now I'm going to pick up all of the steel mesh, all of the charcoal. And we're going to make ourselves as much filters as possible so we can get ourselves a ton of AMR ammo. We'll place this metal parts over there for now. Later on when I am completely bored, I will attempt... Oh yeah, we need the military computer to do a turret and the beacon. Okay, well that's for later. But yeah, as I was saying, later on, when I don't have anything to do, I will just organize base a ton, but we'll do that much later. Alright, so that is all of the charcoal and the steel mesh that I should have. We're going to go do another dead zone run, but we're not going to go to Fort Canal. We are only going to go to AG-19, AG-19 is the best in order, oh there's even more steel mesh here, lovely yeah we need the toolbox, AG-19 is the best area to go and get ammo belts, one filter two, three, four, five, alright we got ourselves five filters, beautiful alright well we will put the filters in my vault, I'm going to take the toolbox with me as well and over there we will try to get the rewire kit as well, if we do that then we can start making C4 which is something that we desperately need because we do have a ton of explosive compounds in here and I can make myself a lot of C4 but we need the rewire kit to do that. Alright, here we go, AG-19. Yeah, this filter is almost gonna break. I'm gonna pop it now. Doesn't really matter, it was only like 2%. Oh, there's an AP shell over there. Let's salvage that. Now, a, lo a lot of you guys were getting mad last time because I accidentally popped a filter at 30%. I would just like to say that was a misclick. I always pop it around like 2 to 3%. Oh, there's HE ammo belt as well, lovely. Another ammo belt. Yeah, we could salvage these. The more we get, the better, obviously. Before I even used to come here with no toolbox. So I wouldn't even get as much storage as possible. Oh, there's a Reconvest MK2. Another ammo belt, lovely. 
Now I'm trying to find that room. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, over here is the best area. Uh, one Ford gunpowder, another ammo belt. Let's salvage them. All right, and we are in here. Come on, man, give me as much as possible, please. I beg you. AP shells. AP shells are literally the best, and even the mime shells. Oh, there's two AP shells here. Lovely. All right, and now we salvage all of them. Here we get ourselves seven full gunpowder in total. Now eight. Get ourselves a box of metal parts as well. I'm gonna try to fix my inventory a bit, make it a bit more organized. Or is it MKP box? Lovely. Another vest, we don't need that. AP shell, we'll take that gladly. Or maybe we can get ourselves another Dragunov, the more the better. Even though I barely use that gun. Alright, so they dropped two magazines, blasting cap, and there's a hyper velocity box, but we already have a ton of that in base. Yeah, this filter is about to be finished as well. Alright, let's wait for it's like 3% or 2%. Alright, let's pop it now. Right, let's check out over here to see if loot did respawn. Because for some reason in this room, it, yeah, it did. Amazing. Alright, let's start salvaging them then. You already have enough for one full box. But we can get for another one, definitely. Another AP shell over there. We got another box of metal parts as well. We got two. Alright, yeah, we are done from this room. So I'm gonna put the uh, gunpowder in my vault, the full ones. Alright, now we need to check the other area. Yeah, zombies even right here. Yeah, so we don't really need roll of lead because I do have biohazard clothes. In my base. Oh, hey, yo, rewire kit. Bro, I didn't even see that. Thankfully, it was in the air. All right, good. Now we can make C4 finally. Another MKP. CW here. Oh, yeah, this dead zone run is definitely really, really important. We got ourselves another mime shell. All right, so in order to make a charge, we need explosive compounds, busting cap, electronics, plastic, and copper. That's it. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to base zone. I mean, I did pretty much loot everywhere. We did get the rewire kit. And for a detonator, we, it's very easy to craft it as well. Alright, we are back in base. I'm just going to put everything that I've gotten in here. So that maybe we can start organizing a bit. I know, the metal parts, I will place them. We got ourselves a ton of explosive compounds as well. We'll place that there for now. And place the other one over there. Yeah, we got a ton of... Uh, Metal parts. Probably all of that will be used in order to build a 2x2 two two full metal where it will be our main loot room. Alright, so gummed tape is used for breaching charges. Okay, which I think are weaker than demolition charges. So we don't really need to do those. Alright, so let's start crafting these. We need blasting caps, which I already have somewhere in my vault. Yeah, it's right there. And I should have more running around in the base. Alright, so with this plaster crawl, I should be able to make a, uh, yeah, first demolition charge has been crafted. Now let's do the detonator. I should have literally everything in one box. You need copper coil and the plaster crawl. Alright, we got one copper wire from there. Another one there. Oh yeah, this one has plenty. Let's take plastic. Obviously, all of the gunpowder that I have, I will also make it into AMR ammo. So we should be quite set to go. I'm gonna pick up all of the explosive compounds that I have as well. I have quite a ton, bro. Yeah, we still need the plastic crawl. Alright, so I think I need to make a roll. Alright, we made ourselves a plastic crawl. At the same time, got ourselves two, four more gunpowder. Now we need the toolbox, which is right over here. It's, uh, it's on the floor. And we got ourselves the detonator. Alright, we're gonna make ourselves more C4. All I need is electronics and plastic. Now we could salvage these blue red pens. Right, and I should be able to have enough. Alright, yes sir, got another one. Alright, I can make myself an AMR box. Alright, let's go. One box. Oh, I can't do vault yet. I'll put that there. I probably can make even more. But well, this is probably more than enough. I mean, the C4 on air are quite OP. But then again, we're going to go raid a brick and wood and uh, metal base. But we got ourselves three boxes for the AMR. We got ourselves a couple of charges. We'll put the rewire kit here. I, I definitely don't want to take that with me. Put the explosive compounds over there. Now, if it's not enough, it's fine. We'll just come back. We'll see what else we can get from our base. Let's take the AMR, the three charges. We can even take these. We still have another AMR box as well, so we have four in total. In order to fix our AMR, we need a, we need a weapon repair kit, which I don't have. But honestly, it's fine. All right, and now we're gonna walk all the way back. I did take the vest off me so that I run faster. All right, and we are here. Put the charge right over it. Actually, we don't want to put it there. We'll put it on the doorway. I mean, brick should be less damage. All right, we'll wear the vest, actually. Now, I don't know if it's a good idea to raid here. I put them. I put three. I will only explode one by one, though. Oh, well, that almost killed me. All right, let's go back. Oh, and there goes our euro. All right, well, we are through. Not even the doorway broke. The door broke. Okay, well, that was weird. Oh yeah, I see crates. Oh well, it's open. Never mind. All right, well, clothes. All right, even more clothes. Oh, bunch of loot. Okay, gas mask, stack of bricks, and this one guns. A lot of guns. Maple strike. Hey, oh wait, we got the maple strike and two of. These storm gewehrs. Okay, I don't know what they are. Alright, well, 
Maple Strike. I actually have no idea how to get the Maple Strike on, on Arid. I know that it's extremely rare. Yeah, there's a bunch of more guns over here. A Sniper, another Sniper, 90, another P90, another P90, and another P90. Oh, uh, yeah. And there's the smaller ones. Ammo. Yeah, even more ammo. Yeah, these are just full of ammo. Alright, well, we'll put the charge there. Uh, we'll see if there's anything below. I was kind of hoping for more, to be honest. Oh, yeah, everything kind of broke inside, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, they did. Alright, so for next, we're gonna have to use the AMR then. Or I'll throw these, whatever they are. Oh, well, he doesn't throw them that far. Wait, I think I just saw a guy. Yeah, I'm 100% sure there was a guy. I think he's gonna try to counter aid me. Bro, I have literally everything on me right now. He's probably hiding behind a rock or something, man. Or maybe I'm just paranoid and I thought I saw a guy. Oh yeah, there is a guy. Oh, he doesn't seem that looted though. Alright, let's use our sniper then. He's right over there. Body shot. Alright, there's bullet drop. Miss. He's dead. Okay. Well, that was scary. I actually thought he was gonna try to counter aid me, man. I would have gonna lost- And I would have lost everything. All the charges. Yeah, I kind of dropped the AMR by the base. So that was kind of stupid. But it's fine, we'll go pick it up after. Yeah, this guy was looting this gas station. He's dead over here. Oh yeah, he, don't have, he doesn't have anything good. Military ration and the Zolash. Alright, let's go back and continue the raid. Alright, we are back. Now it's time to start using the AMR. Alright, first box is out. Let's reload this bad boy. Alright, here we go. Hopefully there's gonna be loot down there actually, man. Hopefully up here wasn't the only loot room that these guys had. But then again, we did get some of the rarest weapons. Right, I've already put like 30 shots into this. Let's reload. Oh, there's a filter. I actually did not see that. Wooden fence. Yeah, there's a bunch of guns mostly. Zolash mod 1. Wait, isn't that kind of rare or am I am I going crazy? Another box went in. Bro, these things are strong. Now, I don't know if it's there's base health or if just my AMR is just weak. Another box. Perhaps I can even take those stack of bricks so that we can start upgrading little by little in the base. Another box. Bro, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna have to go loot again. This is my last magazine. Oh, finally. Oh yeah, there's loot. Oh yeah, there's a lot of loot. Raw materials. Uh, okay. Nothing in there. Components. Alright, let's check out what this one has, actually. On here's a bunch of junk. I mean, there's four gunpowder. White fuse and the spark plug. Encrypted transmitter. There's a little generator over there. Yeah, we could salvage all of these. That's, that's pretty good. HQ fabric. Robert Zucky. That's mine. There's a toolbox. What's in here? Oh, tools. I mean, I could take that pickaxe as well, but it's whatever. I mean, we could take literally everything and just salvage them. We get ourselves a ton of components from them, which is very, very important, obviously. Like all of these CW gears, they could be quite useful. Weapons mod kit. Right, let's take them and start salvaging. Let's drop the metal for now. We got IR spotlights. All right, we could take the copper coil. We get ourselves another full gunpowder, metal bar, box of electronics, and copper coil. Right, there's a lot of these as well. We could salvage them, get ourselves a ton of gunpowder and metal from them. Actually, have quite a ton. Four of them were on the floor. And we continue salvage. And this pretty much is gonna give me like two full gunpowder. Alright, we'll take the floppy disks, armor plates, electronics, a bunch of clay, some metal bars. Yeah, our inventory is actually full. Alright, so we're gonna have to jump on the notepad to actually get out of there. Alright, perhaps I can go back to base and then come back and continue picking up all of this loot. We did lose the Ural, unfortunately. We got ourselves a laser. Beautiful. There's a steel wheelie in there. I'll take that. Stack of bricks. Armored vest MK2. I dropped my pants. Oh wait, there's police vests. Okay, yeah, these actually have a uh, ton of space. Police vest MK2. Damn. Take the toolbox. Yeah, we'll take what we dropped. Take the sniper too. Oh, an airdrop is flying by as well. And these guys were stacking on weapons, man. There's a lot of meds here. Decoration. I don't even know what that is for, but I will take it. Oh, that's used for making dressings. Hyper Velocity Ammo, we'll take that. Golden Quail, I think we can sell that at the safe zone, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of attachments to another laser. We'll take the stack of bricks and see if we didn't leave anything important. And we'll take the pickaxe. Pretty sure you can only craft the pickaxe. Oh, wait, we'll take the lens, the, the motor oil. Oh, wait, if we sub... Well, oh, there's a lot of... There's a stack of pens in there. There's a hard drive, uh, some dock tech, software crystal. Yeah, there's three video receivers too. Take a couple. Yeah, my inventory is full. I will just come back and we'll continue taking everything then. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be the end of episode 3. Now, if you guys want episode 4 to come out, which is going to be the last episode of the series after that nothing was happening, all of the bases were raided and the server pretty much died out, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys did enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye!